and thanks to Connor and Kieran for having a sense of humour for scheduling the uh, ambulance driver AP from Wicklow in the middle of what Wikipedia tells me is a pomposity of professors. Uh, so there's no heavy science in this, guys. Um, uh, my day job is as an AP uh, for the NES. Um, about a year and a half ago, I got involved with the Irish Rugby Football Union uh, to manage some of their uh, rugby related to the first day medical programmes. Uh, give you a bit of background to where we are um, with rugby at the moment. It's about 160 odd thousand people playing rugby uh, in, in Ireland at the moment. Less than half of 1% of them get paid. Uh, primarily, it's a uh, very much an amateur game and very much an underage game. Uh, concussion has had a lot of um, publicity negative for the most part, uh, including a fairly infamous thing that happened last Friday in France. Um, so there's a lot of media controversy about it. A lot of experts and George Hope talking about it over the last year. Um, <laughs> the state program is designed, um, <laughs> designed really to put in place um, um, really specific first aid. It was probably, to be honest, predicated by the death of young Ben Robinson up in the north in Carrie uh, Fergus Grammar School uh, a couple of years ago, who died from uh, probably the first documented second impact syndrome in, in, the, uh, in Ireland and England. Um, so, uh, concussion, and a lot of you deal with concussion uh, as part of your day job. Uh, we take our guidelines from, from the Zurich Consensus um, Statement and, and the Zurich, Con Zurich Conference that happens every couple of years. Uh, it's a difficult thing to diagnose, it's a difficult thing to assess. At present, there is no sort of very easy sort of diagnostic test, um, and although that may change hopefully in the future. Uh, we're all sort of aware of the sort of contra coup, coup contra coup type injury, uh, and that's certainly a part in some of our concussion type injuries, um, where they perhaps aren't just simple concussions, but they want to be something a bit more worrying. Um, uh, for us and, and for, for those involved in any sort of concussion education, we, we try and get people to think of concussion as not necessarily being a structural uh, um, problem, but being a functional problem. Um, so when you have these uh, um, uh, nerve cells and, and, and brain cells that are damaged, um, uh, it's because of perhaps the elastic nature of the brain and, and the way it moves and, and twists and gets torn. Um, it's in the uh, immediate aftermath of an injury that if you get another impact or, or potentially another impact that, that some worse problems can happen. Um, we've tried to uh, start off an educational process and, and we're trying to cover lots of different sort of uh, um, uh, groups. Uh, the coaches and parents are probably one of the key things, but we're also trying to get into the players. So Intelligent Dr. Rob McLaughlin, uh, who's taken over as the Head of Medical Services in the IRFU over the last uh, six months, um, has driven a lot of these uh, concussion awareness programs. We've sent posters out to every school and every club in the country. We have some online and some, some paper-based um, uh, uh, materials, and we're just developing a e-learning program with Dylan, who, who do the FET programs, and we have that up running in, in hopefully August of this year. Uh, our main aim is to deal with the non-medics, so the ordinary uh, guy who looks after the, the under-12s or, or, or the under-16s. Um, and we've had about, um, about 700 people through our program so far this season with a plan to get mo much more next year uh, because we're going to force them to do it next year by withholding funding for clubs unless they come to our state program. Uh, everything is aimed primarily at this pocket concussion recognition tool for the non-medics and it's to try and focus them in on some of the visible clues and some of the signs and symptoms and then the red flags if, if, if things are worrying. Uh, we are doing some medical education and, and Dave has us down at the, uh, uh, the University Medicine Conference in September and we've done some stuff with the ICGP. Um, the medical program uh, revolves around a slightly more complex uh, assessment tool, sports concussion assessment tool, of which there are a number of varieties that are available online and that's electronically. Um, safe rugby, like I said, we, we've developed it uh, over three different levels. Um, the level three is restricted to those who work in professional rugby, so there's a very small cohort there. But our main aim over the last season has been a level one program. Uh, and those of you who recognize a couple of famous people here, uh, won't depend on the audience, actually, either this guy, Jeff King, is more famous than this guy, but both of them have been on our safe course, and uh, it's great to have sort of people uh, at the top of various fields get involved in our program. Jeff uh, was involved in, in NACE, rugby club teaching the uh, coaching under 14s there. 
Um, this is very simply, there's a good amount of evidence that most uh, um, uh, um, uh, concussions recover pretty quickly. However, the IRFU have sort of a marked and fairly conservative approach, and from the 1st of January this year, it's 23 days if you're under 20, and 21 days if you're over 20, and that's a no compromise, and it's therefore uh, a sort of player welfare reasons, I suppose. Uh, Gradually, return to play is really a coaching thing where once they've been off for 14 days, we bring them back over a slow period of time so they can show us that they're fully recovered before they go back to full contact. As far as the future is concerned, uh, some interesting stuff. There is uh, some current research, uh, really in March of this year, was published um, with the Swedish uh, Ice Hockey uh, League, where they are taking blood tests uh, on a sort of hourly basis with those who would appear to have a suspected concussion. And what we're able to show is, uh, for the first time, uh, elevated levels of these very fancy tau proteins. Um, and what they are suggesting is that in the near future, they will be able to have a point of care blood test which will be able to suggest that the player has had a concussion and perhaps guide them to how severe or how long-term that concussion may be. And that obviously has um, some interesting um, uh, repercussions for ordinary emergency medicine and not just sports stuff. Um, it's not without its detractors, the Zurich guidelines, like everything in medicine, needs to be questioned. Um, and the fact that you can have any one of 25 different signs and symptoms and be tasked as concussed perhaps is not that helpful for a game. Um, so what we're trying to do is, is interact with all the various um, uh, medical and paramedical bodies, and we're doing that over the course of uh, this season and next season. So we can try and get a sensible approach to the post-concussion assessment um, of primarily our amateur and primarily our underage players. Uh, I get to meet some very nice uh, uh, heroes of mine, um, and that's the good thing about dealing with the IRFU. I still have about 15 free AEDs for anybody who has a rugby club that doesn't have one. Um, and the last time you have one take home message, um, and that take home message is very simple. Right, take it easy and, and rest your brain, give it time to recover. If we can do that and get the message out to the underage kids, we'll have done an awful lot of good for uh, the rugby band community. Thanks very much.